Hi, Ian. In 1971, Nixon took the U.S. off the gold standard. Do you think the U.S. government will put us back on the gold standard or BTC standard to protect the U.S. dollar value? Five to ten years from now, not tomorrow. Wow, uh, good question, good question. So I've also been thinking about this myself. And honestly, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. I, I think before I kind of go into long term, I have to just look at it from a short term perspective. Right now, we're going into a global recession. There'll be, Goldman Sachs predicts, maybe even 20% unemployment. Millions of, Amer of Americans will, will have no jobs, but also around the entire globe. Supply chain, everything is going to be, to be tested. And if not, we'll have to do a global reset with the entire economy. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but there are people out there that are speculating that this is a way for governments to get rid of cash and force all everybody around the world to go digital. Um, I, I'm not really sure what I think about that because I don't really believe in speculation quite like that. But I think the only way we go back onto the gold standard in the U.S. is if the dollar crashes. Like if the dollar crashes and almost goes to zero. I mean, where there's super hyperinflation and there is no way to escape it until they go back to the gold standard. So, I mean, at that point, we won't really be in a recession. We'll be in a deep depression where it's like a super recession. So, I mean, obviously, I'm no economist, so it's not sure exactly how that would work. But I don't see the American government going back to the gold standard unless their backs are against the wall and they have no other option. I mean, because I've, I think if we're, if we're talking the next five or ten years, they'll keep on printing money until hyperinflation gets so bad and the dollar gets worthless. So, I mean, it is possible. I mean, I'm not sure from a probability perspective whether it's highly probable. But, I mean, worst case, let's say inflation gets so bad and it's hyperinflation. Yes, I mean, it would take a president, a leader, to, to have the cojones, to have the balls, to say, you know what? I know we've been off the gold standard since 1971. Let's go back to it. I mean, because to do that, to go back onto the gold standard would, I mean, the amount of internal strength that it requires to do that, because... The entire country either has to be on board or the, the leader, the president at, at that time will have to go against the entire country because it's really, I, I do think that would solve lots of issues. But, so what does that mean? When going back on the gold standard. That means that the government can't just print money anymore. There'll be a finite supply restricted based on the supply of gold. So that means whenever we're going through the, these economic crisis, the crisis that, that, that we're going through, we can't just print money as a solution. That means we have to swallow the pill. We have to take our medicine. And I'm not sure the entire country wants to take the medicine. Like, for instance, right now, right? Right now, we're going through tough times. Lots of people in the travel industry, in the restaurant and, and hotel industry uh, have lost their jobs. They're unemployed. Do you think a president like Trump or, or just... It could be any president in any country is going to say, you know what? Let's not give you a bailout. Let's not bail out any companies. Let's not bail out any people. Because right now, government uh, Trump is talking about sending Americans $1,000 in money to help them get through this tough time. Where's that money coming from? It's coming from quant quantitative easing, printing more money, money that we don't have. So... If we're going back on the gold standard, we can't do that. The president would, ha would have to look the American people in the eye or whatever, whatever country you're in. Your president will have to look you in the eye and tell you, you know what? Yes, we're in a depression. We're in a recession. Things are horrible, but take your medicine, you know? It's going to be like this, this for the next five years. We'll, we'll, we'll just have to bounce back. So I don't think 
the American people can handle that. I mean, because here in America, people are talking about socialism with Bernie Sanders and the Dem Democrats and liberals. People want free health care. They want free college. I mean, so when people are fighting for free college and free health care, and you tell them we're going back to the gold standard, that means they can't just, we, we, we can't do that because you don't have the money, the assets on the balance sheet to do that financially. So I think it's going to be tough. This kind of, right? And if anything, the US dollar and what's possibly coming could in a way be the end of the, of, of the country of America. I mean, not to kind of get deep, but... I mean, we all know every empire falls, right? I mean, the Roman Empire crumbled. One of the best, if not the best empire ever, right? They fell. And now we're really getting into a time where you have China and you have America really kind of colliding economically because China in the last 30, 40 years has become an economic juggernaut. And now they want to get out of they want to get away from being tied to the U.S. dollar. They want to, because they're tired of the regulations that come with that, right? Because the U.S. kind of dictates and creates the rules. So, I mean, times are tough. Times are tough. I mean, even Russia, for example, one of the biggest rivals of, of America, they've been waiting for moments like this. I mean, because Russia doesn't have too much debt or leverage compared to the U.S. They've been buying lots of gold. And uh, now they're they're in a price war. They they're seeing that America is weak, so they know for them it costs a lot less money to produce oil. So they're cutting the price of oil and competing with with Saudi Arabia, trying to bring the price down and get America out, so that they can then eventually bring the price back up. I mean, so times are crazy. Times are crazy. So going back to your question, whether I think the U.S. will go back to the gold standard. I think that will only occur if it's the end of the end. Like when the, the American government's back is against the wall. But I don't really think the American people can swallow that pill. Because right now people have been asking for more socialism, free healthcare, and, and lots of other free stuff, which requires printing more money. So telling the American people that, you know what, we're done printing money ever. We're only going to have the money that we have based on the supply of gold and the gold standard. That person will probably not get elected as president. I mean, because even looking at Republicans, at Trump, I mean, Republicans are known for being fiscal conservatives. And even in times like this, they're printing money. And, and they're planning to offer Americans money to help them get through tough times. So all this does... All this goes against the gold standard. So, I mean, I think it would be great for America to go back to the gold standard, but I think it's, it's going to be very, 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 very tough.